Hey y'all, uh, time for another Code Wars challenge. This one's gonna be a level seven and we're doing it in Python and it's called 16 plus 18 equals 214. Uh, so as always, there's gonna be a link to the challenge in the show notes if you wanna try it out before you watch the video. It's always the best way to learn is by trying uh, and then you can always uh, watch after the fact if you don't get it right. So uh, as always, please like and subscribe if you if you are getting some value out of this. Uh, that helps keep me going uh, and it also keeps you informed every time I uh, post a new video. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so I'm gonna hit train here. And so for this kata, uh, you have to forget how to add two numbers. Uh, it can be best be explained using the following meme. Uh, so notice here, she's adding two plus two is four, four plus zero is zero, and then she did eight plus eight is 16. Uh, so in simple terms, our method uh, does not like the principle of carrying over numbers. Um, so with that in mind, let's see what we're kind of expecting here. Um, so if we add two plus 11, we should get 13, zero, zero is one. All right, so, uh, and then the silly addition test uh, looks like 16 plus 18 should get us two fourteen. So it looks like they're adding the two and the two there and then the second digits as well. Uh, they've got a kind of a trick here uh, where if you have a three digit number, uh, you've got to line those up. So what we need to do is I'm gonna use this one here because it's the hardest. Uh, and so we'll set uh, num1 comma num2 is equal to uh, both of those values. So as you can see here, uh, num1 is going to be 122, the digit, and then num2 is uh, going to be 81. Okay, so what we need to do is chop these numbers up into their individual digits, okay? And then we need to figure out, uh, first off, which one is the uh, longest, and then just kind of make sure everything uh, lines up that way. So. Uh, I want to see real quick, we're going to do some uh, co uh, Googling here uh, because I'm not sure if how to pad a string. I want to see if that's uh, a possible thing that we can do here. Uh, so we can uh, do Python string padding. All right, so padding strings. Uh, let's see how we can get some help here. Uh, so string join, uh, all that. Okay, so... Padding, left padding. All right, not quite. I'm not seeing a, a simple answer here. Padding to a string. Uh, L just, this looks promising. Uh, so string dot L just to a certain length and uh, and then padding it with zeros. And so what that does is uh, pads it to the right. So I wonder if there's a R just where you can do the opposite here. So sure enough, there's a right justification. So uh, what I need is the zeros on the left, okay? Rationale being is that uh, what I wanna do is figure out the largest number uh, of these two uh, values here. So what we need to do is first off, let's turn these numbers into strings. Okay, so num1 is equal to string num1 all right, and so now uh, num1 is a string, and then num2 uh, is gonna be a string of num2, okay? And so of course, looking here, num2 uh, is that. Okay, so now what I need to do is figure out what is the uh, length of the largest string, okay? So what we can do here is we can use our Python max function, all right, so we can do max len uh, num1, comma len of num2, Right, and so the largest uh, the largest value here is three, uh, and that's of course coming from num one. Okay, so uh, largest length is going to be that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is set both strings equal to what they were before, padding it. Right, so num one uh, is going to be equal to num one dot r just, right, and so we're r adjusting to the largest length and padding it with with zeros. Okay. Uh, so of course that doesn't do anything to num1 uh, because it is the largest string. So now watch what happens to num2. So num2 is equal to num2 dot r just largest length pad with zeros. Okay, and so now uh, num2 has 081. Okay, so now what we can do is tally up each of the digits uh, uh, line by line, okay? So what we can do is I can do a list comprehension Okay, and so we can do D1, or we can do an integer here of D1, okay, plus an integer of D2 
for d1 comma d2 in, now we're gonna zip up both strings, so num1 comma num2. Okay, so what did I just do there, right? So that's that, that part's kind of hard because it's all just got crammed into one uh, uh, thing there. So first off, uh, what I did is look at the zip. So I have two lists now, num1 and num2, and if I wrap that into a list function, uh, notice what that does is that breaks them into tuples. So notice the one from the first string lines up with the zero from the second uh, digit, the two, uh, in num1 lines up with the 8 in num2 and then of course uh, the 2 in uh, the third one lines up with the 1 in the third string there. So zip uh, assumes that you have two lists and again strings are basically like lists of characters. So you have two strings of the same length, you zip them up and you get back a list of tuples. Okay, So that was one part that happened there was uh, we have a list of tuples now. Okay, And that's what we're for looping on right here. The, we're for looping on the list of tuples, okay? So now for each tuple, what I did was d1 comma d2 is equal to, and there's an example uh, of what happened there. So if you look at d1, that was of course the string and d2 uh, is the string there, okay? So all that to say, zip gives you a list of tuples and then we're for looping the tuples. And then for each tuple, we're unpacking it into two variables, turning both of those into integers, adding them up, okay? And now what we can do is combine that back into a string. Okay, so we can do uh, this dot join the entire product there. Oh, uh, and okay, so, all right, let's see. We need to have these as uh, totals. It's gonna equal to that. Now what I need to do is turn these into strings. Okay, so um, string total for total in totals. This is probably the long way to do this now that, I'm, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, so now we need to bring those together into one uh, single number. So we're gonna take these list of strings here, all right? So all I did there was, again, totals is uh, our list of digits. Now we have a list of the digits as strings. We're gonna bring those together into one string. So we'll do this dot join and wrap that in parentheses there, okay? And so that's gonna be our digit turn that into an integer, and that is our final result. So holy cow, that was a lot of stuff here uh, for an otherwise uh, pretty simple function here. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Let's merge all this together and see if we can get it to uh, work inside of a function. Um, so merging all this into one cell, we'll turn it into a function and then pass it on to uh, uh, Code Wars and see if we, we've got this working. So what we'll do is there's our two values. Uh, we don't need that. Actually, I'll just cut that out. Um, all right, so we got that. We don't need that one. We don't need line 11. We don't need line 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, and of course the totals. All right, and so now we would just return that line. Okay, so let's see if this is enough to get into our function. So I'll slack cut all that out. Uh, let's go over to our function here, paste all that in, return the last line. This is probably, there. I'm sure there is a much more elegant solution to, uh, to this than what I've done. Uh, but you know what, this one's good enough for government work. So, or is it? Oh, it passed. Okay, so let's do an attempt here. More tests, full submission. Oh my gosh, count it. Okay, so I do want to see on this one, uh, what is the more elegant solution? Okay, so uh, diff mod, uh, crazy stuff there. Don't really understand what's going on. Uh, Zfill. Okay, so uh, it looks like we weren't too far. Yeah, they're doing the pad size. Okay, so, you know, ours is not uh, uh, not exactly art, <laughs> uh, but it got the job done. So, you know what, pat yourself on the back uh, and we'll see you for the next challenge.